Okay, so for some of you looking at this problem, you're going to know exactly what to do and you're going to be able to find the solution pretty quickly. Now, others of you are going to have a tough time, but uh, let's go and take a look at the problem. We have a triangle type situation and uh, this line right here represents a pole, maybe like a flag pole. And this other line would represent maybe like the ground. Now we have to make an assumption that the pole is perpendicular to the ground. Now we have a wire that extends from the top of the pole all the way down to the ground and that's uh, under tension so we're going to have to assume that that is also a straight line and the length of this wire right here is 100 feet. Now the angle uh, formed from the wire to the ground is 60 degrees. All right, so I'm basically just kind of giving you interpretation of the problem, but the question is, what is this length right here, which is the smallest leg of this little triangle? All right, so feel free to use a calculator, but this is a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our uh, options here. So A is 40 feet, uh, B is 50 feet, C is 60 feet, or D, 70 feet. All right, so again, feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second, then of course we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so we have to make an assumption here, and that is that the pole is perpendicular uh, to uh, this line right here, which could represent maybe like the ground. All right, so once again, we are looking for this distance right here. And uh, which is the right answer? Well, let's go ahead and see it right now. The correct answer is B, 50 feet. That is the length right there. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely deserve a happy face, an A plus, and 100%, and a certificate of excellence because it's probably the case that you uh, recognize that this was a 60 degrees and this angle right here is 30 degrees and this angle, because I did say that this was perpendicular, is a 90 degree uh, angle. So what we have here is what we call a special right triangle, a 30, 60, 90. And uh, if you know a thing or two about special right triangles, solving this problem is super easy. All right, so let's go and get into the solution right now. So, uh, you know, just looking at this problem from a common sense standpoint, let's just suppose you had no idea what to do. And you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, you know, it's been like uh, 50 years since I've done any math, uh, but I'll take a guess. And I hope you uh, <laughs> took a guess at this problem. Just take your best guess, right? Like, let's just suppose you're pretty good at judging angles. So let me ask you, do you think this looks like 60 degrees? Well, let's take a look at some other angles here. What would be your best guess on this angle right here? Okay, as compared to maybe this angle right there, as co uh, compared to maybe an angle like so. So you have to be a fairly good judge of angles. You don't have to be perfect, okay, but you have to have some sense of angle measure. All right, so let's call this angle A, let's call this angle B, and let's call this angle C. Now, I'm just kind of making up these angles, but if you want to take your best guess, uh, put your uh, guess for angle A, B, and C into the comment section. But uh, angle A could be something like, oh, I don't know, maybe like 20 degrees, okay? Angle B yeah, kind of looks like it could be somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 degrees. Angle C is getting pretty close to a right angle, so maybe it's like, um, no, I don't know, like 80 degrees or 75 degrees. So um, again, if you have a sense of angles, so let's go ahead and take a look at a right angle, which of course is a square corner, right? This is 90 degrees, so if we split that in half, that's 45 degrees, right? And of course we can split that in half, and then we have 22.5 degrees. So that's kind of how you, know, you can make some rough judgments on angle measures. But I say all of that to say this. So looking at our figure here, uh, if this is 60 degrees, well, this maybe kind of does look a little bit like 60 degrees, right? So 
that means that uh, the small side of this triangle would be like so, right? So uh, this, in other words, this triangle seems to be a reasonable representation of a triangle that would have a 60, 60 degree corner right here. All right, now if this wire is 100 feet, this distance right here is 100. Let's just think about this, 100 feet. And it kind of like, you know, from this point pivoted this line all the way down like so. This could be like maybe like 100 feet right here. Okay, so just kind of make your best judgment. I mean, does it seem reasonable that this length right there would be 70 feet? Well, hopefully you're saying, ah, I don't think so, Mr. YouTube Math Man. We could definitely take that out of the picture. So let's say maybe 60 feet. Well, if 60 feet, this is 100 feet, maybe 60 feet's that much, you know. So you can just kind of make a guess. If this is 100, that's they, there's 50. Uh, 60 feet, you know, that doesn't really seem like it would be the measure as well. So hopefully for those of you out there that were just like taking a guess, guessed uh, that the measure here um, is either A or B. Of course, the correct answer is B, but if you um, chose A, at least you were thinking, I think, in uh, the right, uh, you know, way. So you could, you know, hopefully eliminate two of the four choices here and really increase your odds, you know, of getting this thing right. Now, I'm kind of speaking to those of you that are test takers or you're still, in, you know, in school or whatever the case might be. But remember, you know, uh, when you have a multiple choice question, uh, always, always take a guess unless you're going to be penalized. All right. So as I indicated in the beginning of this video, this is a special type of triangle. It's a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now, I did make it clear that we have to assume that we have this pole and it's perpendicular to this line right here. It's a ground. Now, if I didn't tell you that, okay, uh, for those of you that are maybe in some sort of geometry course, have to take some sort of exams again, uh, don't um, feel too bad about assuming uh, a such um, a scenario. In other words, uh, if you look at this problem and it wasn't clear or if it wasn't stated specifically, that this was a 90 degree right angle, sometimes uh, you just kind of have to make that assumption, right? So it's really, you have to kind of take that as a case by case basis. But unless this is like, you know, you had a little square right here that indicated, oh, this is perpendicular to the ground. In other words, this pole and the ground form a 90 degree angle. Sometimes you kind of have to read into that and just make that judgment. But in this case, you know, I made it clear to you that in fact, this is 90 degrees. So now that we know that this is 90 degrees, well, we know this angle right here. Now, how do we know that angle? Because the sum total of the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So 90 plus 60 is 150 degrees. We subtract that away from the 180. We have 30 degrees. So this is a 30 degree angle. Now, again, some of you already immediately recognize, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I see what you're doing. This is a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. I know exactly what's going on here. Now, for those of you that don't know what's going on, you might think to yourself that, well, maybe I need some trigonometry, right? Uh, you know, could I use some trigonometry like sine, uh, cosine, and tangent, if you're not familiar with basic uh, right angle trigonometry, to solve this problem? In fact, you could use trigonometry to solve this problem, but this is like the long way, okay? Because we have, again, a special situation. We have this special angle, 60 degrees, we see a 60 degrees, a 30 degree angle, and a right angle, and another uh, really important angle is 45 degrees. So 45, 45, and 90 degrees, or 30, 60, 90 degrees, these are, again, special right triangles. All right, so let's talk about this special right triangle. And the uh, first thing we need to realize is that the shortest side of this triangle is always going to be opposite of the uh, smallest angle. So let me say this uh, this way, the smallest length, the smallest side of a triangle is opposite the smallest side. And the largest side is always opposite of the largest angle. So 30 degrees is the smallest uh, angle. So the leg opposite, the side opposite is the smallest. Now here we have 90 degrees. Clearly that is the largest angle. So we have the longest side right here, which is called the hypotenuse, right? So the 60 degree leg right here would be in between. Now that's important because when you have a 30, 60, uh, 90 uh, degree triangle, you need to kind of, you know, make sure you understand what is the smallest side, what is the longest side, and what is that uh, medium side, right? This is really important. All right, so the smallest side, 
the longest side, and then the middle side, right? We can maybe go smallest, uh, longest, and maybe middle. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about why the 30, 60, 90 degree uh, uh, right uh, angle, or right triangle, excuse me, is special. All right, it's special because it holds this relationship. You definitely want to kind of store this into your long-term memory. It will make doing these triangle problems so much easier. Okay, so here is the, the deal with the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. So the smallest side right here is X, right? So whatever uh, you know length this is, the hypotenuse, which is the longest side, is double the smallest side. I'm going to show you an example here in a second. So whatever the smallest side is, if we double it, that's the length of the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, and the middle uh, uh, length of this uh, of the leg of this triangle is whatever this is, this x, and we're just going to multiply that by the square root of three. Okay, very very common type of problems you'll see in geometry and algebra and trigonometry. But let's go and take a look at a quick example right now. Okay, so here I have a 60, 30, uh, 90 degree right triangle. Now uh, here, 30 degrees, okay, you can see this is the smallest leg, but uh, I'm sorry, uh, 30 degrees, the smallest leg is right here, that's three. So if we double three, that of course is six, that's the length of the hypotenuse, and to get this side right here, it's just whatever this is times the square root of three, so it's three square root of three. All right, that is it, and if you understand, uh, you know, 30, 60, uh, 90, 30, 60, 90 uh, degree special right triangles and 45, 45, 90 degree right triangle. It just makes life so much easier. You're going to see exactly how easy it is to solve this problem in just one second. But first, we're going to take a look at this, which of course is a subscribe button. Now, I need you to look at that and then go ahead and click on that because that is a way to show your support, not only for me, but for other people out there that could possibly benefit from my math instruction. I've been on YouTube for well over 10 plus years. I love teaching math on YouTube uh, because I don't have to be so uh, formal. Right? I don't have anybody telling me how to teach or whatnot. What I try to do is to teach math in a clear and understandable way. But I also know from experience that if I go really fast, I can teach, I can show you how to do this problem in like 30 seconds. But that's not going to do, um, you know, those of you out there that need a full explanation. Maybe you're like, I don't even know what a, a special right triangle is, Mr. YouTube Math Matt. Well, this is why I make these videos. They're kind of like micro lessons, but they're no substitute for full instruction. Okay, so if you need, uh, you know, full help in math, I'm talking about if you're a math student and you're really struggling, you can't really improve in math like a little bit here, a little bit there, all right? So whatever level of math you're in, you need to get really great instruction. Then you got to work hard and practice, practice, practice. Okay, so if you need help with anything beyond this video, I have a ton of uh, stuff on my YouTube channel that you can check out. Uh, for what we're talking about here, you might want to check out like my uh, geometry course. Uh, you'll find links to all these courses in the description of this video. Uh, my math skills rebuilder course, that's another option for you. Uh, and or my pre-calculus course. All right, so it all depends on what level of math you're in. But let's get back to this problem because now this is going to be super easy. All right, so again, we may have to make this assumption that the pole is perpendicular to the ground. So you're like, all right, we got 60 degrees here. This has to be... 30 degrees because this is 90 degrees so this is the smallest leg the hypotenuse is a hundred uh, feet or 100 so the smallest leg i've got the smallest uh, the hypotenuse is always double right the um uh, the hypotenuse is double the smallest leg so if this is 100 feet well this has to be 100 divided by 2 or 50 because 50 times 2 is 100 so 50 is the right answer which of course seems reasonable, right? Uh, 70 would uh, would not seem right, you know, if you're a pretty good judge of angles. All right, so as I uh, said in the beginning of this video, some of you recognized immediately, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man is trying to do a 30, 60, uh, 90, you know, special right triangle problem. These uh, type of problems show up everywhere on all different sorts of exams. And um, in geometry, when you study, when you first start studying these type of triangles, you know, you also study things like the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. All this, uh, especially this type of triangle in the 45, 45, 90 degree is really the foundation into trigonometry. Okay, so if you want to learn trigonometry, you got to really be paying attention to these special right triangles because they're everywhere in trigonometry. 
All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.